Hello everyone, my name is Martin Heroso, a member of Group 5 and a student of Chef 417 Chemical Engineering Process Dynamics and Control. With me in the group are Tricia Mega Batinho, Durdel Angelo Hilario, Alicia Rosella Banero, and Melanie Lagmay. Today I'll be discussing about the laboratory exercise number one, which is the standard instrumentation symbols, and identification is a simplified control design drawing. This laboratory exercise aims to understand the basic concept of drawings and process control. The intended learning outcome is for the students to be able to draw a simply full visual representation of process design and automation approaches. It also wants to enumerate several typical levels of drawings in process control. It also wants to abbreviate a few letters to identify the type of measurement and calculation performed using measured values. It also wants the students to be able to sketch the process in simple manners, understand the process drawing with instrumentation, and identify the graf and graphically depict measurement and control equipment and system. Finally, it wants the students to use graphic symbols to construct instrumentation, schematic diagram of the instruments, devices, and functions required for monitoring and control loops. So for the discussion of the laboratory exercise number one, the design of control system is a specified example of engineering design. The goal of control engineering design is to obtain the configuration, specification, and identification of the key parameters of a proposed system to meet an actual need. Modern control design aims not only to stabilize processes in normal operating conditions, but also to control them successfully in, ab in abnormal situations. By presenting a designation system that includes identification schemes and graphic symbols, ENSI standard establishes a uniform means of depicting and identifying instruments or devices and their inherent functions, instrumentation system and functions, and application software functions used for measuring, monitoring, and control. So for Table 1, um, it shows the terminologies, instrumentation, and process control. For, uh, first one is alarm. So alarm is the process value deviates from normal operating condition, which is the occurrence of abnormal operating situations. The second one is basic process control system, which is a system that manages and monitors a facility or pieces of equipment operations. The third one is bubble, which uses a compressed or an inert gas introduced through a dip pipe. The fourth one is communication link. It is the communication channel that connects two or more communication devices. The fifth one is the controller, which is a device that uses receive data from a measurement instrument, comp compares the data to a program set point, signals a control element to take co connected action. The sixth one is the control station, which is a station where the unit's radio or main navigating system or the emergency source of power is located or where the recording or fire control equipment or the dynamic positioning control system is centralized or where a fire extinguishing system service various location is situation. The control valve on the other hand is a valve used to control fluid flow by varying the size of the flow passage as directed by a signal from a controller and enables the direct control of flow rate and the conceptual control of process quantities such as pressure, temperature, and liquid level. Next one is the converter, which is a current to pressure transducer utilized in industrial control system or devices that receive information in one form of an instrument signal and transmit an output signal in another form. The last one is the final control element, which is a mechanical device that physically changes a process in response to a change in the control system report. Next one is the instrument which is based on the process variables that the instrument is monitoring or controlling. Next is the instrumentation which focuses on the measurement and control of process variable within an industrial setting using hardware and software tools. Next is the primary element, which is a sensor or detector that responds quantitatively to the measured variable and performs the initial measurement operation and performs the initial conversion of measurement energy. Next is process, which is the control instrumentation focuses on the measurement and control of process variable within an industrial setting. Process variable, on the other hand, is the parameter that is to be controlled. Sensor is the first element in the process control loop, often called the primary element, and measures the value of the process variable. 
set point is the value for pro the process variable that is desired to be maintained. Transducer is a device which converts an non-electrical quantity into electrical quantity. While lastly, a transmitter is convert a reading from a sensor or transducer into standard signal and transmit the signal to a monitor or control. Next is for table 2, which are the identification letters. First, you have A, which has a first letter that means analyzer, while the succeeding letter means alarm. F means flow for the first letter, while the succeeding letter means ratio or fraction. H for the first letter means hand or manual operation, while the succeeding letter means high. L means level for first letter, while the succeeding letter means low. P just means pressure, while S has speed meaning for the first letter. For the succeeding letter, it means switch. T for the first letter means temperature, while the succeeding letter means transmitter. FC, PIC, LAH, TS, and AC only has first letters or a general meaning. FC means flow, flow control calculation. PIC means pressure measurement indicated or displayed for the operating personnel and used in control calculation. LAH means level measurement used for signaling an alarm to operating personnel when the level exceeds a high limit. TS means temperature measurement used to open or close a switch that could shut down plant operation on a dangerous condition. Lastly, AH means analyzer control calculation or the specific analysis which is usually in indicate or adjust outside the bubble. Next, we'll have my group mate, Alicia Labanero, discuss table 3. Next is table 3, which represents line symbols, instrument-to-instrument -instrument connections. First line symbol is the V pneumatic signal, continuously variable or binary. Next is the electronic or electrical, continuously variable or binary signal. Table 4 represents final control element symbols. The first FCE symbol is fail open. Next is fail closed. Next is fail locked. Next is butterfly valve. And lastly, the FCE symbol is angle on off solenoid valve or generic two way angle valve, angle globe valve, or safety angle valve. Next is table 5 which represents process schematic symbol. First symbol is shell A and tube B heat exchanger. Next is pump. Next is horizontal drum. Next is pipe with plug flow. Next is the vapor liquid separator. Next is pack bed. Next symbol is the turbine or expander. Next is compressor or fan. This one represents draining and this one is the overflow. Next symbol represents flow 1. Next is valve. Next is the horizontal drum. Next is level 1. Next is the valve. Next is electric signal. Same with the next one. Next is temperature 1. Next represents analyzer 2. Next is shell A and tube B heat exchanger. Next is temperature 2. Next is the valve. Next is flow 2. Then temperature 3. Then the packed bed. And lastly, analyzer control 1. For our conclusion, standard instrumentation symbols show the connectivity of equipment, sensors, and valves in a control system. It is suitable for use whenever any reference to an instrument is required in the chemical, petroleum, power generation, air conditioning, metal refining, and numerous other industries. It is also intended to provide sufficient information to enable anyone reading a flow diagram and having a reasonable amount of plant knowledge to understand the means of measurement and control of the process without having to go into the details of the instrumentation that require the knowledge of an instrument specialist. These symbols can represent actuators, sensors, and controllers and may be apparent in most, if not all, system diagrams. Instruments can have various locations, accessibilities, and functionalities in the field for certain processes. Thank you.